One of the most useful things to have in Zelda Breath of the Wild, and of course now Tears of the Kingdom as well, is going to be your entire map. This is going to be your basis for all your explorations on how to get everywhere, what to do, where it is, and so on. So when you start the game, it's going to look like this. This is no good, especially when you're going into these dark territories. You don't know what you're looking at. You don't know what the terrain looks like. So I'm going to show you all how to get all... 15 towers in this game. Some of them do require quite a bit of exploring and a couple of different puzzles. So I'll show you how to do that right now so you'll be able to get your map and get your adventure up and running. The first tower is of course this one which you're going to end up doing straight after Tutorial Island. It's very easy. You just come to Lookout Landing and you just follow the story as it shows you. It's pretty much a mandatory tower. It's, it's self-explanatory this one so it shouldn't have any issues with that. But from this tower Tower, we can go ahead and go right into the air and we'll be able to see all the other towers in the map They're all lit up like that with those like spotlights into the air and you'll be able to head over to those from this tower Just get your pura pad out You can put a little marker on it and you can even use glide towards some of them as well So let's go ahead and do the first one first tower Lindor's brow Skyview tower which is the one I just put a pin on is surrounded by water so you're just gonna have to build a bit of a bridge to get up to it and there's materials right here anyway so you'll be able to do that just fine for the sake of this we're gonna go clockwise around the map so we can get all of these different towers and this one's puzzle is pretty straightforward it's a one of the first area towers you'll encounter once you build a bridge, you can come up here and you're sorted. You can do the tower straight away. There aren't many limitations on how long you can make the bridge, as long as you do know about your balance. So all you have to do is build that. You can tilt it like this, put it down like that, and you're done. You're ready to go up. You can just walk right up your bridge, and then you'll be able to obtain the tower. There's nothing obstructing the door in this one, so... Just walk up the steps and in you go. After you've obtained this tower, you'll be able to see the next tower in the distance. You'll actually be able to see both of them for the next two northwestern regions. Go ahead and whip out your Pura Pad and put down a marker right there. So Ross Pro Pass Skyview Tower is the next one. This one is also quite easy. It's only blocked by these things which easily burn with the fire fruit you've already been picking up since the very beginning of the game. Just ignite that up, wait for it to disappear, and then the door is accessible once again. Let's go ahead and do that. There it goes. It takes a sec. And we're in. We're in. That's the next tower. Done. Next tower is in Hebra, so we're actually going to go ahead and go back to Linder Brow Skyview Tower to make our way to the next tower from there because the tower is actually invisible from this one. So we're going to go ahead back here and do the next one. From Lindor Brow Skyview Tower, you can actually see it through the clouds from the Rito area if you haven't done that yet. And you'll be able to drop a marker on it just the same as before. There we go. Picada Stone Grove Skyview Tower is the next one in Hebra. And once you arrive here, you should be able to just go on in. Let's have a look up the stairs. Let's open the door. So that's it. This one's straight forward, man, as easy as it can get. However, you are going to have to climb your way up here to the little ice caps that it's on. But that shouldn't be an issue. Once you do, you got the tower open already. Next tower is all the way to the east. You can't actually see it from this one, so we're actually just going to go straight over to the east until we do see it. It should only be a couple of seconds of flying before you do see it, so you'll be able to drop your marker on it and then start heading towards the east, towards that tower. Next up is Typhlo Ruin Skyview Tower. This one is blocked at the top, so you're going to have to make your way all the way up there to this platform that you can see, the highest and most one. And then you're going to have to move another thing off of the top. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use our rising ability on top of that. Once we do, there's an enemy up here which I already killed. So pro tip for people who are getting all the towers at the beginning of the game like I'm showing in my video, the next tower after this one is going to require an extra rocket. So make sure you guys get a rocket fused to a shield. Go ahead and fuse that to a shield that you have in your inventory and keep that for the next tower. So next up, we're actually going to go to the next platform on the other side so we can get two fresh rockets in order to do this tower. Go ahead and make your way up with the rising ability. Once you're out here, you're going to see two fresh rockets, which you're going to need. Uh, let's go ahead and pick them up and fuse them to the platform we're on. Put them in the middle, like properly and evenly spaced. So one on the left should do it and one on the right hand side. Because otherwise, if you put them lopsided in different places, the platform is going to 
go all sorts of different ways. So we're going to go ahead and go up and we're going to land on top of the platform on top of the tower. So once we're here, all we have to do is move this. Let's go ahead and whip out a fan. Attach that to the side of the platform. Just like that. And then just hit it so we can move this platform out of the way. The tower will then become accessible. Voila. We can now get the tower and get that part of the map. Once you come back down, this guy will show amazement that it's all just suddenly working again. You explain it to him, and then you're able to get that map. The next tower is to the south of Death Mountain. You'll be able to see it right here with your Pura Pad. You can drop a marker on it. Let's make our way over there now. So Elden Canyon Skyview Tower is the opposite to the last tower. This is actually closed down here and only accessible via the top, which is not blocked. It's fully open. The lid is actually right here, <laughs> broken right beside the tower. So we got this rocket shield for a reason in the last tower. We're gonna wanna make our way a little bit north to one of these high up areas on the rocks. And that will give us enough height so we can glide into the top of the tower after using our rocket shield. So let's go ahead and get up to this peak up here. All right, so I chose the nearest peak to the tower, which obviously makes logical sense. Whip out your rocket shield and bombs away. And we're just gonna glide right into the middle, right into the top. You are able to climb the tower, so do not worry about that. Just make your way up after gliding a little bit. Uh, if you did not hit the top, that's fine. You'll be able to get in anyway. Once you're at the top, just drop on in. That's all you gotta do. Then go ahead and get the console like normal and it will all work again. The door will open and the guy will be super impressed and you'll be able to get your part of the map. The next tower is to the east of Death Mountain. You can see it over there. Mark that and make your way over there. Ulri Mountain Skyview Tower for the Akala region actually is open, but it does not have a console when you go in. This is a pretty unique one. You'll be able to find a bird nearby, right behind the tower. Whip out your bow and arrows and get a keys eye on him and then just fire away. He'll knock down, he'll die, and he'll also drop the console with him. <laughs> this is a good one. So we can just put the console back ourselves. Let's go ahead and do that now. Bring it right over to the tower, like you were just putting together your next vehicle. And that's it. Just plunk it down. There we go. <laughs> oh. So this guy will just go ahead and repair it for you once you put it back. And then you can use the tower again and get that piece of the map. Now we're going to start going south. The next piece of the map is right behind you. Turn around, you'll be able to see it lit up very close by, actually. So this tower is Upland Zorana Skyview Tower, and it's got a sludge problem. If you go to the entrance, you're going to find it blocked by sludge. Fortunately, sludge is easily washable away. You'll be able to come right behind the tower and get some of these, which are splash fruit. This is the first time me picking it up. So let's go ahead back over to the entrance with the splash fruit. This guy will actually give you a little bit of a quest if you want to get a reward as well, but you don't need to. We're just going to look at this entrance, whip out our splash fruit, which we just picked up for the first time, and fire one, fire one away. Just one will do. And then we're open. We have access to the tower and that part of the map is done. The next tower is all the way at the very tippy top of Mount Lanero to the south. So make your way over to that one next. It's almost all covered in ice. So you can either take the path or you can climb up via the north side, which is not covered in ice and you'll have access there. Once you get to Mount Lanero Skyview Tower, all you have to do is open the door and in you go. You just have to be able to find the way in. Next tower is to the west and you should be able to see it fairly easily if we just face that direction. You can see it lit up all there, bam. This one is Sahasra Slope Skyview Tower and you can see that here on the map. It's the one very near Kakariku Village. So once you come here, you're gonna find that the door is actually blocked. You can't get in. You can't get in through the top. What's going on? He'll tell you that the door is just straight up blocked. The tower is in need of repairs. And how are you gonna open it? Well, the answer to that is to go to the left of the door here and drop down the mountain, there's a cave. Let's go into this cave right down here. Very secluded, very hard to find. You're gonna wanna bomb it open or mine your way through with a rock hammer thing. There we go. Just work your way through all of this. So from the entrance of this cave, burrow your hole through the first set of rocks, turn left, and you'll see the next set of rocks, which is kind of major. You don't have to go all the way through. Stop a little bit of the way, and you're gonna come to the left here and find a secret hole in the middle of this area of rocks. So bury your way all the way to the left into the secret hole, and this is gonna bring you to this nice little place here. 
which is right beneath the tower. All you do is rise up, and then you'll emerge on the inside of the tower, which is still blocked, by the way. But once you do, you'll be able to unblock it with your hand here. You can see that the door is jammed by these sticks on both sides. So remove those, and voila, the door is open. Your bird bro can then repair the tower, and you'll be able to get yourself that map. Next up, we're going to go to the southeast for this tower right over here. Let's go ahead and make our way to that one. So, Rabella Wetland Skyview Tower is actually also one covered in these thorns that can be burned. However, with the added covet that it's raining, okay? So you actually have to make a bit of a shelter. So make your way into the center in front of the door where it's raining on top of these burnable things, which of course you can't burn because it's raining. So with the materials to the right hand side, make yourself a pretty rudimentary shelter. It's all you really need to do. We're gonna go ahead and do that. So my option was to just build a bridge that latches on to both scaffolds on either side. All you need to do is cover the plants from the rain. It looks like it's working just perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and use a fire fruit on that and that will burn it away. So the rain won't be able to wash it away now. You will be able to burn it just fine. And in you go, once it's open, you get your tower and that part of the map. Next tower is directly to the west. You'll be able to see it straight away. It's quite close as well. Let's drop a little marker on that and make our way over there. So the next tower is Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower. When you arrive here, you're gonna find that you can open the door just fine. However, the console is broken and there does not appear in the media vicinity to be any way to fix it. When you go to this well over here, you will see someone crying for help, <laughs> but you don't wanna go down there. It's a bit of a debate. What you wanna do is you wanna find a cave entrance. The cave entrance you want is just to the south of Poplar Foothills Skyview Tower. It's just off the cliff. This is what the area looks like. You'll see some old ruined houses and a rock and the cave entrance is right here just down the cliff. This is the other side of the locked gate that you would have seen if you went down in the well. But either way, once we come in here, all we need to do is add some weight to the switch in front of the door here and we're golden. The rock will do just nicely. <laughs> there we go. And it's open, we get some money as well, which will be coming in handy indeed. And he has urgent business at the tower. He is gonna go off and repair it straight away. So from then, all you have to do is use your rising up ability and go back to the tower. Upon returning, you're gonna find that he's repaired it. It's all good to go. You can now get that part of the map. The next tower is to the northwest just a little bit. So turn around. You'll see it there lit up in the middle of the field. This is one of the early towers, in fact, so it'll be easy to get. So Hyrule Field Skyview Tower is the next one. The gimmick is that it's in an enemy base. You can actually just run past the enemies. So if you really don't want to fight or if you're not ready to since the beginning of the game, just run right in and just open the door. You can grab the tower straight away, just like that. Next tower is to the southwest, guys, and you'll see it kind of there towards the desert. Let's make our way over to that one. Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. Now the gimmick with this is right in front of the entrance. Again, we're gonna need someone to repair this for us. So we can go ahead and open this up and you'll see the console again is not working. We need our repairman. Now in order to get the repairman is, we're gonna have to fix this lift right here. He's down at the bottom on the lift. So what we need to do is just add enough weight. That's all there is to it. Just add enough weight until the lift actually works. That should be enough and they will come right up with the repairman in tow as well. There he is, and he'll thank you for fixing the lift. We did it. Let's go ahead and talk to him. He's, he's just bewildered, what happened? Oh. All right, we got the elevator working, and he'll get to work as well. After that, folks, you can go ahead and grab the tower and get that part of the map. We only have one tower left now. Let's go ahead and finish this. To the northwest, you'll be able to see the glow of the next tower. You'll be able to see the northwest on your compass, so let's make our way over to that one. The next tower is to the northwest in the icy mountains. You can see it right over there. Let's make our way over there. So this next tower, Gerudo Highland Skyview Tower, has no accessible entryway that you can see. It's just the tower. There's no way into the top. You will see this tent here with a diary in it telling you about this cave right over here, which is exactly where you have to go. The cave is just north of the tower, so it's very easy to miss if you don't look that way. Let's go ahead and pick some fruit here so we don't die of the cold. And into the, into the cave we go. So in here, this is a unique one, because actually I spent a long time looking for this. If you miss the cave, it's, it's over. You're gonna get super frustrated. So the cave is actually always very nearby. All you have to do is follow the stream. You're gonna wanna use one of these as a raft. Let's go ahead and put that in the water, just like that. 
and let's jump on. We're good to go. So now we all have to do is wait. Just ride the r ride the current all the way down, and uh, it will bring you to a point where you'll see on your map that you're right below the tower. Don't forget to pick up this guy on your way as well. Well worth it. So there's the waterfall, just like that, folks. Very straightforward, very easy. And once you're underneath this wooden structure here, this clearly a part of the tower, just a little bit further, make sure you align it with your mini map. So we do need this platform to be underneath the wooden thing. You can use a bit of swimming or whatever to place it there. That's fine, it'll be blocked by these little pillars here. And once you're underneath with the wooden roof, you can use rise up ability and get right into the snowed in tower with no exit or no entryway except up. Here we are, we're inside. You can see the door is completely blocked. Actually, you can open it, interestingly enough, but it's still blocked <laughs> and in we go. You can just use the tower and get that last piece of the map. That is the entire map from the beginning of the game without having access to anything from all the adventuring and unlocking. So you're absolutely good to go right from the start if you follow this guide. And voila, you've now finished the entire sky map. Easy to make it explore and you've finished the entire surface map as well. It'll really make it a lot easier to get where you need to go when things pop up on your map so you know what kind of terrain you're facing as well. And these towers also give you really easy transport accessible points. If you guys pop an elixir for stamina or whatever, you'll be able to fly to anywhere in the vicinity very easily so you can get to where you want to go much faster. That's the end of the video. Hopefully everyone found it useful for at least one tower, which I'm pretty sure every single person watching here had an issue with. At least one tower, all right? Hopefully I've solved that issue for you and you now have easy access to the entire map and the sky as well so you can enjoy the game in a much more timely manner, just much more efficient transport. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, bye.